Hey guys, welcome back to Peak Reef. My name is Travis. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, like I talked about in my last uh, TikTok post and things like that, I was ordering a Red Sea custom cover for my lid. It's one that you can build yourself. So we're just gonna do a little quick unboxing. What do you find in it? So it comes in a big long tube. Heavy duty stuff, shouldn't have any issues. It is the DIY Aquarium Net Cover by Red Sea. Since mine is a 20 gallon, I got the 36 by 24 because I believe my tank's 31 inches, so it doesn't really fall in there. But if you have a Red Sea Aquarium, this will actually, they have sizes for all of their standard aquariums, so this will work for you. Now on the inside of this aquarium, or this aquarium, this tube, you're gonna find corner pieces uh, that come with also the tabs to uh, work on a rimless tank, so that's kind of nice. Mine's rim, so I don't have to worry about it. They have inside corners and outside corners, so you can do cutouts in the back for anything that you have for wires, feeders, uh, dosers. That's one of the nice things about doing a DIY lid is that it comes with, I mean, you can just customize it to whatever you need. Comes with the tool to uh, put the gasket in to uh, do the wire netting. Uh, these are the other, comes with a couple extra pieces of aluminum. I'm assuming for some of the cutouts and other corners. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me uh, take a drink out of my Peak Reef cup. <laughs> Now, this is the actual netting. It's quarter inch clear. This is the gasket. These are the powder coated aluminum edges. Now, when it comes to setting this up, you can do it a couple of ways. Uh, most likely the way I'm gonna do it, and I'll show you guys a video on it when I do it, is I'll most likely I put the outside corner pieces on, take one long piece, put it to the corner of my tank, mark and cut, do that all the way around until I'm done. Another way you can do it is do a cardboard cutout. You can use that to, uh, to you know, make a template to cut out the aluminum and then add the uh, screen to it. Now, reasons for having a screen, it's uh, truly up to you, it's on preference. I've been running without a lid for a year now. Um, but as my fish mature and my clown um, I can definitely tell one of them is becoming female. She's getting more and more aggressive. That's just the traits of the female clownfish as they become more dominant. Um, part of the issues with that is that they do become so aggressive that when you get your hand towards the tank, they like to lunge. And when they lunge, they sometimes jump out. So, got the netting and the screen to help with that. It's to keep your fish in. Uh, blennies are jumpers, gobies are jumpers. Some damsels are, including clownfish. And I have clownfish and blennies and gobies. So, I mean, all the fish I have are quote unquote jumpers. So, I was a little overdue to do this, but I'm doing it now. So, you may be asking, why don't you just go get a piece of glass or a piece of plexiglass? Plexiglass uh, is inexpensive. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. The issue you're going to have there is going to cut out a lot of your UV light. So, you're going to have to either crank them up or your core aren't going to get all the uh, full wave spectrums that they're going to need. The other issue is that the UV intensity on our lights is so much that it typically warps the plexiglass. Uh, the clear glass is fine, but usually they're not, you know, you run the same issues except for the, the warping. And then the other big issue you have is oxygenation of the water. You don't have a, as good of gas exchange when you have a lid over your tank as you do without one. So that's another reason to have some sort of lid or a screen lid. Now, when it comes to um, bio cubes and things like that, you don't have to worry about that because the light's built into the lid itself. But with the bio cubes, you usually run into temperature issues, and this is a good way to help with that too. Now, you gotta keep in mind, once you get rid of your lid, 
and go with a screen or no lid, you're gonna have an increase in evaporation of your water. So you have to keep track of that. If you don't already have an auto top off system, this is when you're gonna to wanna to think about getting one because you're gonna be adding, whew, I think my tank goes through over a gallon of water a week easily. So every day when you get home, you'll be adding water to your tank if you've been gone all day. And who has time to sit around and watch that? So that's another reason aquariums thrive on stability and that includes your salinity. So if your salinity is constantly increasing throughout the day and then rapidly dropping because you add fresh water and when you get home, uh, a lot of times your coral can't handle that. It's gonna make things upset. Your fish are a little more hardy, but your coral need that stability. So those are some reasons to have a screen lid. Like I said, these are the things inside of it. We'll go over one more time. You're gonna come with a heavy duty tube. Inside the tube, you're gonna have your gasket. You have your quarter inch screen. You have your powder coated aluminum framing. You're gonna have the tool to put the gasket into the framing to hold your screen. And it's also gonna come with a couple extra pieces of powder coated aluminum, your inside corners and your outside corners. So hope this helps any of you that are thinking about getting this product. That's what's inside of it. Looks like it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll work on a video on showing you guys how to set it up and use it. Um, this is for rimmed tanks and rimless tanks. So if you have a really fancy rimless tank, this is for you too. But uh, hey guys, thanks for checking in with Peak Reef today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this gave you uh, insight on some of these items out there that are you know a little more expensive and sometimes you gotta think, you know, what am I really getting? Hope this helps out with that. But uh, thank you guys for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that bell icon, subscribe, keep reefing.